to the UK with her sister and parents in 2002 on a Nigerian passport in order to visit her paternal grandmother. Whilst here, some difficulties surfaced in the marriage of Miss Olabumni's parents, which meant that when it was time to return to Nigeria, she remained behind in the care of her grandmother, who was able to place her in a school in Walford, East London. So, to be clear, Ms. Olabumni was here, for want of a better word, illegally. Indeed. And this state of affairs might have remained unchallenged, save for the fact that in the summer of last year, Ms. Olabumni returned to Nigeria, intending, as I understand, to stay there? However, she was to change her mind and return to the UK on a six-month visitor's visa, which expired last December. When this fact was drawn to the attention of the UK Borders Agency, a notice of directions for her removal was served on Miss Olabumni. Shortly thereafter, she was to marry a Mr. Arthur Chubb. It's the Home Office's contention that this marriage was one designed solely to circumvent the removal directions and as such should be disregarded when considering this case. You have no one representing you today, Mrs. Chubb? Uh, <clears throat> can, can I say a few words on my wife's behalf, please? I don't get to see my wife on Saturday nights. Even before we was married, I didn't. Which is rubbish, because I'm a market trader and I, and I work long hours, six days a week. And, uh, you know, Saturdays are supposed to be special. And yet I don't see her. Why? Because every Saturday night, Mercy goes on the soup run with her church to feed and help the homeless. And she don't talk about it. She don't make a fuss about it. She just gets on with it. Which is so typical of the mercy I know. And it's one of the reasons I love her so much. So, to say that she doesn't contribute to society is ridiculous. Okay, I mean, mercy wants to become a teacher. And once her A-levels come through, eventually she will be. And she is going to be a great teacher. So if you send her back, you're not just punishing Mercy. You're not just punishing me. You're punishing all of us. Let's say that she teaches 25 kids a year and she works a minimum of 30 years. That's 25 times 30. That's 750 kids that will benefit by her staying here. Who gets the benefit if she goes? Seven hundred and fifty children she might otherwise teach in Nigeria, I would imagine. Look, please, all right? Please. All right, I've known this girl since she was nine years old, okay? She is the most loving, caring person that I know, all right? And, sir, you know the Human Rights Act better than I do, so I can't, I can't argue with you on a point of law. I'm just asking you, as a fellow human being, please, all right, please, just let us stay, all right, please, just, just let us stay.